Hi everyone, George, and welcome to The Art of Water. Hey, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, aquariums and aquarium glass uh, more specifically and uh, the different kinds of glass that are used and uh, um, some possible reasons why we see algae on glass that uh, I have kind of a theory on. Now, I may uh, be wrong about this. I'm not saying that I am, but it's just something that I'm noticing myself. And uh, if anyone else has um, some ideas on this, I'd sure love some comments about it. And uh, let me know what your theory is on this. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm finding some things that are characteristically similar uh, in low iron glass and uh, are slightly different in uh, what I would call more traditional aquarium glass that's less expensive and uh, wanted to get your take on that and uh, give you some ideas on what uh, I think uh, is a solution to the problem and also what is causing the problem more specifically. And uh, first of all, the two aquariums that I have in front of me right here are both nano aquariums. They're uh, one's a six or 5.7 gallon, the top one and the bottom one is just a five gallon. And uh, both of these are low iron glass. And uh, one of the things that I'm noticing on this particular aquarium is that there seems to be the only algae that I ever get. You know, I never have an algae problem. Number one, I have autocyclids in here. I do have shrimp and things like that. And I also have enough plants in here to really keep algae at bay. The lighting is very specific to these kind of plants. Uh, they're low to moderate uh, need uh, plants as far as light. But one of the things that I'm noticing, and I don't know if you can see this because it's hard to see in the video, but right up in this area here, you'll see this little bit of spotting. When I go against the, um, uh, the wood here, you'll see this little bit of spotting that is on the glass. And it's not, it's not a, a real problem problem, and it's something that I tend to be able to uh, clean as I do a water change weekly. And the same thing on this one down here, I have a very similar problem. And it appears to be that it's something about that type of algae growing on the glass. And I think it has to do with the low lead, um, or low, or excuse me, not low lead, but low iron uh, in the glass that is making the glass much more clearer. So the glass is not only getting light from the, uh, uh, the LED at the top, which lights up the tank, but also light coming in from the room, whatever lights you might have, which I have some pretty intense ones in here because it's an office area in my home that uh, I need to have lit up pretty well. And uh, I'm noticing on these low iron glass that I'm getting that spotty type algae. Now the difference between that algae and uh, the algae on these aquariums over here, if I ever see any, which I rarely, rarely see any at all on these over here, is that the algae there on the, on the ones that I just showed you, that algae is very, very hard and is really, really takes some, some work to get it off the glass. Now, if I ever get any kind of algae on this tank or this tank over here, these are both uh, uh, 3.7 gallon Imaginarium tanks with just the rounded edges, and they're not expensive tanks, but I, I really love them just because they, they uh, really do show off uh, nano fish, uh, shrimp, and, and uh, species specific tank. Um, they're, they're really good uh, for that kind of thing, and I really like them. And one of the things that I find on here, if I do get any kind of algae, it's the very soft brownish, greenish brownish algae that gets on the glass. It's kind of like a film that you can just wipe with your finger. 90% of the time, the autocyclids or the shrimp in this tank will take care of that and the autocyclids will take care of it in this particular tank uh, as well. Now I have other tanks around my house, they're all over the place, and the very same thing is going on with any of the low iron glass that I find 
and uh, the more traditional glass has less algae. I don't know why, or specifically, as I was saying, different kinds of algae build up on that. And uh, I just wanted to kind of mention this because I thought it was kind of interesting. It was just something that was pointed out to me uh, by a friend who's in the hobby all as well. We were talking the other day, he was looking at my tanks and he was showing me that his gets the same kind on his low iron and a different kind of algae on the glass. If Like again, we don't have algae problems at all. These tanks have been set up forever and there's never been algae in here ever, uh, except for you know small amounts on the glass occasionally, which all of us get no matter what we do. And like I said, the auto sink lids pretty much take care of that. But he was suggesting a very similar thing goes on with his aquariums in his home. The cheaper glass very seldom has that kind or doesn't have that kind at all of, of hard spotty algae that we were referencing or referring to over here on this particular tank and the, and the one below it, which are both low iron glass. And uh, I wanted to get your opinion on that. So if you have any ideas on that, why don't you comment to me? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Always appreciate that. Anyways, again, George with the Art of Water. Uh, if you can give me any insight into what I'm talking about here as to uh, why that is. I think, as I said, that my original theory of, uh, you know, the type of glass and the reflection from the light coming in and out uh, on the more expensive glass makes sense to me that that would happen. So if you have any ideas on that, uh, please uh, leave me a comment and uh, we'll talk again soon. George with the Art of Water.